This is something amazing. This meeting is being recorded. This is amazing Makaran has developed. Uh, we really appreciate Makaran's effort. I, when I was interacting with Makaran, I realized that he could do it because he, do, he was not knowing what cannot be done. And that is the gist of uh, his innovation. Calibration on wheel, which is appreciated by his clients. Especially flow measurements. Uh, normally, we bring all the instruments to the laboratory for calibration. Here, the <coughs> calibration laboratory on wheels have reached the customers. And this is something exciting journey of Makaran Vaidya, who is a basically uh, engineer and runs his company named Vega Instruments. And uh, they undertake a lot of such assignments. Uh, today's meeting is going to be quite exciting. So without spending much time, I will request Makaran to start his presentation. Andreessen and Hauser India have recently developed an indigenous calibration rig for one of India's biggest oil refinery and which will be installed in their plant for calibrating flow meters of different make, different sizes, up to 14 inches, and technologies. Calibration services ensure compliance with minimal process interruption. Andreessen and Hauser calibration experts will partner with you to optimize all activities across your installed base. Together we will maximize your plant performance while maintaining your product quality and conformity to your industry standards. From on-site to fully accredited laboratory calibration, we provide timely, traceable, and cost-effective calibration services to ensure both high performance and compliance of your quality critical instruments. Optimize calibration intervals to balance costs and risks. Rely on Endris and Hauser calibration competence available anywhere in the world. Continuously improve your calibration process and activities with expert insights. Why do customers choose us for their calibration requirements? Trust in a global instrumentation partner. Thanks to proficiency testing and usage of harmonized procedures, our metrology trained service engineers deliver calibration excellence worldwide. Extract maximum value. Our consultants give full transparency, enabling cost savings, risk mitigation, and increased performance. Maintain process reliability. Our customized service agreements facilitate your budget planning and ensure consistent and safe operations. I will first make comments, some comments on the clip itself, because the commentary uh, in the clip is not that uh, to my satisfaction. It was being um, narrated by the company itself. Okay. Actually, the first shot was a drone shot from Jamnagar Rajkot Highway. Okay. Later, it was shown as it has been uh, dismounted from the truck or the container carrier, and then it was. Uh, um, it was prepared for 14 inch um, flow calibration facility and then it was conducted the trial and all that. So that is the actually the clip is about. Now I will start my uh, this thing presentation. The actually uh, this is as you know the calibration. I need not have to talk much about the calibration itself because calibration is a vast subject altogether and it needs a different uh, I think some other person may put a light on it. But let's talk about this thing. It's a testing and calibration facility up to 350 NB pipe size. Okay, The school pieces are provided for 15D and upstream and 5D downstream for the calibration requirement. There were three groups were made. Uh, from 15 NB till 80 NB, one group, then 100 NB to 200 NB, and group 3 was for 250 NB to 350 NB. The system was designed for 400 NB. The right side picture shows actually the spool pieces, and uh, the length shows that 15D and 5D 
this thing uh, dimensions and the basic speed is down there in which there are master meters can be seen and the pumps can be seen and the tank accumulator tank can be seen control panel etc so in this all types of flow sensors transmitters and transducers can be calculated uh, the names are already given of all makes actually uh, it was given with a variable length fitting with three flange classes and tc to take care of dimensional differences of various types and various makes the flow computer of abb make was provided there uh, with all types of connectors interfaces and uh, protocols and uh, power supplies and all that for the user requirement 24 volt dc 110 volt ac 220 volt ac etc etc it was a cloud based service for data integrity and authenticity the method of calibration is a comparison with master the master used was coriolis mass flow three sizes were used 10 inch uh, 16 inch and uh, 2 inches for the group 1 2 and 3 uh, group 3 2 1 respectively uh, we call it as a unit under test okay it is a enable traceable facility with temperature and pressure transmitter for compensation the test media is used is water at ambient temperature and atmospheric pressure ergonomics is maintained for and the safety norms were um, adhered for example the height of the um, operation height or the operator's uh, height is uh, 900 mm from the ground so it is well and well below the safety norms and vibration and sound levels are also maintained by various techniques it is equipped with 30 kw 40 hp six pumps that is 240 hp monster machine this is we have used ksb pumps previously in the lockdown period they were having problem about 100 there of 100 uh, uh, workers of uh, singer ksb was uh, covid positive still they could deliver us and we could finish it actually it is producing 200 meter cube per hour flow rate 12 lakh liters per hour flow rate at 35 mlc we use drive ABB make for uh, synchronous operation and we use the selector switch for operation to for group number one, group number two and group number three as well as to achieve the flow rate, um, um, flow rate change in flow rate for 25%, 50%, 70%, 100% that is required for uh, set points for the calibration of the flow transmitters and it can be as desired by user. Water is circulated back to the accumulator tank. It was not wasted or it was not uh, left to the sum. The tank is actually 3.6 kL, but uh, it was not filled fully. That's why I written over here 2.5 kL. Various drain, drain points because uh, the client was very concerned about the wastage of water because huge amount of water is wasted in these kind of trials. Because once you mount and dismount a meter, a transmitter or a sensor, a uh, lot of water is uh, drained so we have provided various drain points with the host nipples so that they can conveniently drain it to the sump and then they can pump it back test setup is mounted on 8.3 meters 27 feet 2.4 meter by 2.6 meter actually it is we first we selected a chassis of tata um, that was of 27 feet but later and of course we added to the rto rto rules and all that but later uh, it turned out to be 27 feet by its dimensions. The spool spaces were kept separately as shown in the bottom uh, this thing, this thing, in the logical manner in a sequence with the nomenclatures on it for the convenience in um, assembling them when they were needed. For example, over here you can see they are all lying on the ground. They, are, they can be seen. They have to assemble like this. So for example, 10 inch meter is to be calibrated. That means assembly need to be done. Then only you can calibrate a 10 inch uh, meter in the rig. Initially, it was decided uh, to give a skid, and we were not aware about uh, means what exactly they are going to do after it. We thought initially about the canopy, so that is a bodybuilding truck bodybuilding kind of thing. But later it turned out to be that they have to um, 
take down the speed from the truck chassis then keep it on the ground then after some time they have to pick it up then again uh, travel somewhere so it was not a permanent chassis given okay previously i had a experience of mobile steam generators in which we use trucks and the truck diesel uh, truck was having diesel tank water tank boiler genset and uh, control panel on the truck and that truck used to move but this case it was not that way so we have to rethink on the design so this uh, particular picture doesn't show that particular uh, cover part but this shows that thing and uh, it is covered by a container structure it is not a canopy actually all weighted parts and contact parts are ss304 it was pmi means it was verified by the user and the container and the racks were of ms total weight of the ss fabrication was 10 ton and total weight of ms was a 5 ton it was a massive monster it all all such thing starts with some story or some background uh, for it some vision some uh, team work of course there is a team work uh, for this and the right side thing shows about the the um, fact it is a a4 size sheet which was a user requirement specification that thing all started with this a4 size sheet that too i think it was started with uh, some discussion then later it was framed into this a4 size sheet and we built this entire thing designed this entire thing based on that particular a4 size sheet of course we submitted a document uh, similar to this uh, conformity to this and then later drawings and all that but just like that this part number is of reliance industry limited jamnagar refinery part number it was very required for all kind of legal and sort of things then this was the branding they did uh, in the campus jamnagar refinery campus which was a highlighted thing and good showcase for them of course there was a need of the such kind of product because temperature pressure uh, sorry temperature pressure or other kind of uh, sensors can be calibrated very easily by taking them out and uh, then easily can be taken uh, taken out and then transporting or couriering them to the particular laboratory but over the flow there is very challenging it is flow flow transmitters and flow sensors are quite bulky and heavy and secondly they have to take out from the say refinery then it involves lot of um, legal then insurance then all kind of risks and all that and then it goes to some laboratory like iit or npl or some calibration setup cwp arrays and all that and then it comes back and then again it gets installed and each year we require to have a calibration so the the anderson houser vice chair vice uh, not vice chairman vice president customer support was having vision why not to have a mobile uh, setup and we will go to the customer side which is quite easy very easy to go to the premise and then nearby the particular location you can park your vehicle or you, you just uh, dismount the uh, facility and start uh, maintenance department can very well help to take the caliber this thing transmitter to the calibration uh, rig and then we can get calibrated in reliance refinery there are about 300 such meter the list of all um, types of um, flow transmitters and they have actually given to us all sizes and all types and all makes so uh, that particular um, rig is already booked for entire year it has been uh, there uh, permanently it is just moving in the refinery jamnagar area itself and uh, it has been operated and uh, on the lease it is given operated by anderson houser itself i think it is maintained by now by reliance because a lot of maintenance is required for this 40 hp pumps and 1200 meter cube of water circulation a lot of things are there seals and bearings and what not so all those things i think reliance is now quite uh, well maintaining that but first year we first in that dark pandemic uh, period we did support and we uh, did uh, gave the this thing uh, support at the site so need was always there okay then there was a vision by that vice president 
and the end user was actually ready to have such solution and then user requirement was created and the teamwork has yielded into this particular product or this particular concept we actually evolved this design it was not at all given as a fabrication drawing or a job work for us it was from discussions from presentations from uh, various uh, fluid dynamics calculations it was all evolved and then thicknesses and everything was discussed actually costing and all that so it was all created that way when i actually i should not say the word one but when i got this order actually i remember uh, the vision or the discussions okay all uh, every every discussions were actually not at the concept level also that time uh, they were having the vision or they were having the concept like there is a water tank then there is the pumps then there is a master meter of course they are a seller industrial also they are all you must have known it they are manufacturers and they are leaders in flow flow transmitters and instrumentation so mnc german based and they have got india based quite well aurangabad they have got factory gujarat and thane bhivani mumbai godrej compound they have got office so they are they were in the need of uh, providing a service to customer Of for calibration, not for their own meter they want because they have already that in house, but it is for customer they had. So they were planning and thinking about such things. And for small, um, small meters up to say two inches, it was uh, done like that. And there there were pumps and there were a master meter and there were hose pipes. And those hose pipes used to connect all those things, electrical fittings. And then uh, the water is taken back to the tank, etc., etc. It was a, like a ground uh, um, occupying thing. Okay. When I actually were discussing, they were talking about something like a bogey, train bogeys, one attached to other, second attached to third, and all these things. But I said that it is not going to work at all because of the level difference and there is a. Connections. How you can make a connections after you couple? How how you can couple them? So and what would be the space? What would be the um, length and breadth of the thing? So it has to be as per the RTO norms and all that. Container container was not that time discussed at all, but to the truck or chassis side is. So I just said that we will have the UUT unit under test in the return line. And that actually clicked, and that actually solved everything, sorted out actually speaking. So the container concept uh, for this product was uh, later introduced in the lockdown in the month of March 20. Actually, we were uh, we received the order, and uh, we actually started working. Okay, but we had to stop the work after 22nd of March. And then uh, it was decided uh, how to go about it. We were continuously having on. On call, and uh, everybody was working from home. Actually, vice president, the project engineer, my partners, and everybody. And uh, then we thought of uh, means when the commissioners and uh, administration in government actually started uh, with permissions, giving uh, giving out the permissions to start the activity, business activity with statutory requirements and all that. We actually accepted it as a challenge, and then we start working on this. So during that time, I decided to go for a container. That is, I studied the container concept, which is 18th century concept from by French uh, marine sighting, and then it was evolved and standardized, and worldwide now it is accepted. ISO, it is ISO, the one standard for that. So I adhered to that strictly, and then I started searching for who will build. Container for me, but I could not get anybody. Okay, I I just in those uh, non-traffic roads, I used to move uh, to in search of a container fabricators, but I could not get anybody. Then I went to JNPT container uh, this thing uh, container uh, container yards. There I could get some help, and then I could get some material, and I did that. 
One more thing was uh, actually successfully done in six pumps synchronized to achieve precise control of flow and pressure characteristics. In the uh, flow calibration, uh, these two parameters are very much required. But we are not going to get it. Usually, it is thought earlier that we will do a throttling so that we will achieve the flow rate control. But throttle also uh, creates a back pressure and it reduces the reduces the pressure across master meter as well as the unit under test. So that throttle was not going to help. Then there was a bypass wall, which is a usual practice. But later we, dis we discovered that bypass wall was also not required. Only pure synchronization of a mode in pumps is sufficient to achieve the result. We have successfully accommodated diameters and lengths of all the kind of things. It also provided the moment, the momentum, that is the mass into velocity, which is tremendous in this, because 1200 meter cube at 4, 4.5, uh, 2.5, uh, 3.5 bar is a tremendous thing, momentum. So that all we experienced, but we did it actually. And it is a work exerted in lockdown. So actually, the uh, few innovations had deployed in this during this uh, project. It is the equipment containerization. When I hunt and hunt for the containers, I could see the containers are only used for the shipments. Containers are seldom used for uh, storage. Containers are then used for uh, uh, rehabilitation. Or we have homes. Then uh, some architecture had developed some you know, wise ideas of uh, some camp. Uh, camping homes and office, uh, sorry, these uh, site offices and all that. But I thought to put a uh, equipment itself in a container, and for that I have to make all all sorts of changes in the container design. So I took help of one structural engineer who gave me the finite element analysis for the structural design of a container. We place those pumps in the various places, load, it's called as load. And we did that finite element analysis. And then we could, uh, I got all those things with me in my laptop itself. And then we could see that how that uh, door is distributed or where the buckles and all that. Nothing that happened. Then, second innovation was variable and flexible pipe joint because hose and other things are not going to help at all. So, this actually, I developed this particular product. It has got tremendous potential independently as a business potential. It is a self-contained captive motor hum. The container, nowhere, actually now, I think in 22, 2022, I saw one Australian company who did the something like this. I first time I developed this thing, self-contained captive material handling system, a jeep crane and a gantry to load and unload almost entire container from two meter radius at one side and from the back side. So nobody actually, it is like, I, I um, uh, inspiration was a floppy disk drive. Do you remember CD, CD drive? CD drive has got a CD reader writer as well as the load unload mechanism also of the CD. So that was my inspiration. So I did the same thing in container. It is not at all occupying any space. It is very silently and captively uh, in ducks in, inside the container. Synchronization was a tremendous uh, success. Even the KSB pumps also appreciated that. So the six pumps you are synchronizing for to get the result. And individual pumps are also we tested for their characteristics, pressure versus flow. And together also how they are behaving, how they are actually conflicting with each other, etc. Wave breakers in the tank is also a big thing. Actually, uh, if you could see on Google or on YouTube and all that, when water comes with a 4 or 5 meter per second velocity of 1200 meter cube, meter cube per hour rate, then what would be the velocity in that particular simple tank, which is of uh, something like uh, 3.6 scale, 3.6 kilometer tank. So it was like um, all kind of waves and nothing more than splashing of the water. So people used to have the breakers and uh, um, Waffles, 
but oh, I did something different for wave breaking in the tank, and I have got the videos where there are no waves at all. It's a silent um, merging of uh, written water inside the tank. Side glass design. Side glass design also. You may find these small small things, but that small small things actually can contributes to the cost or the spending from us as well as the innovations who attempted to get some good things. Side glass conventionally found in market or you conventionally get are of different design. If you could find, uh, I will show you the design, my design. They are um, they are designed and they are fabricated in such a manner that ergonomically and means. They are functionally the best design. Test meter in return line for lace and compact design. Lace for this. Three flanges uh, where uh, in, in three class of flanges in one flange were manufactured. Side opening container door was also very challenging and I did it with the, I use air springs and all uh, sort of things. In the rack system was also did, I, I did not uh, give the school pieces in kind of uh, crate or wooden crate or something like that. I gave rack in which the logically they are kept with a sequence and with a logical sequence and with a nomenclature over it and all that. And small things like uh, in the next uh, order, I did that the flooring is required for uh, uh, UUT, unit under test for access mount and dismount. So that floor, flooring was provided, plain flooring was provided by, by me uh, for some portion of the container. The shelter was also quite uh, required for the unit under test uh, as well as uh, the people working outside the container. So that also was taken care of. So those photographs I will show. I have developed a common pipe support for all the sizes. So this is picture of size, the pipe support is same. Only numbers may vary because of the length. The longer pipe, the more numbers, the shorter pipe, the less numbers. Triclam, triclover fitting has got some typical problems. So I have sorted out that problem also. Actually, triclam, when assembled in the stationary or steady pipes, it's quite easy and friendly. But if you want to try this triclam for dismantling, assembling uh, repeatedly, regularly, then they are very tricky and very not at all uh, friendly. But I modified them, try to try, try to it in for the easy assembly. In one more uh, rig, I had developed articulated pipe joint uh, in which I uh, I have to adjust the linearity of the uh, thing unit under test. So I use the articulated pipe joint. Then at one more place, I did that O-ring union fitting. Simple union fitting has given me a lot of trouble. Because they are not at all friendly for dismantling assembly, just like that PC. The union um, fitting is also not at all friendly, especially stainless steel. This is all I am talking about the stainless steel SS3. This is actually a um, picture. This, these are the VFD6 VFD. There is one flow computer. This is captive, um, captive uh, this thing, um, material handling system. Okay. These are the pictures I have taken from the my 3D um, design uh, uh, time things. Okay. So now you can see over here the floor, floor for the wind under test as well as the people who are working outside in the shelter above. And this is a typical, this is a skid actually. And this is a typical uh, uh, assembly for um, this thing, um, I think 8 inch this is. And here you can see here you can see a multi class flange 150 class, 300 class, and 600 class. All three uh, PCDs are PCDs are uh, drilled over here. So, 600 class um, unit also can be fitted over here. And this is actually that flexible, this is actually that flexible uh, pipe fitting in which you can increase the distance between these two flanges and fix the unit under test over here depending on the size. The successful execution of this in uh, pandemic itself uh, yielded into uh, one more order 
and this order they have bought and then they are now actually physically um, moving it uh, all over the places they are not going to sell it or give it to these uh, because they have they want their own uh, customer support so for the thing actually added to that for the thing so my vision was actually equipment contraction and variable then pipe fitting in such cases okay so walls so you can now any question i think i have finished in half an hour instead of 40 minutes hello 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 uh, we, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can go for Uh, we can go for question and answer session now. Yeah. If if you are finished, uh, please yeah. shoot out your questions first. Uh, identify your name and then ask the question. Because this is something Makaranda has developed. Uh, I I said uh, he was not knowing what cannot be done and he did it. So compliments to you, Makaran. But Thank I you. think. A lot of people they must be having queries about your project. Yeah. So friends, please identify your name, and then shoot out your question. We have with us Mr. Narayan Bedarkar. Uh, uh, so he is expert in the flow measurement. Yeah, yeah. He might have some queries. Yes, yes, sure, welcome. so this is flow computer or this is flow computer and this is the vfd panel uh can i ask a question sir yes yes sure go ahead uh good uh, presentation but uh, makarand i joined late so oh. i'm sorry uh i'll share with you uh yeah sorry right. but uh, only one question uh, uh we are doing uh, calibration by comparative method is it yeah and what is the master that is used the what is correlus correlus master a correlus master okay mm -hmm. and uh, okay so you get both uh, volume and uh, weight yes of course density compensated okay so the master meter is a correlus and yes. against the master meter all this is being done yes, yes. and pressure transmitter and temperature transmitter is also enable accredited so okay. everything is uh, have we had this certified by uh, is it acceptable to nabl yes yes it is nabl approved lab okay so the lab has been nabl approved yes yes and the uh, 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 water tank and, and everything else is external to this no no water tank is inbuilt you are late or what because i have shown that mm -hmm. you see here water tank is inside okay Will, I sorry, you, I, will, I, will I so as I still said, I will. I will, I will show. I will, I will show. I will show you the water tank over this. Yeah. Uh, I will. So inside here is the water tank. Yeah. Yeah, we are going to share this uh, video also. Uh -huh. These are the <laughs> photography done by professional. And why these clutters are there lying? Because because there was a training session. I actually dismantled the thing uh, from the rack and they are placed on the ground. So that the people can assemble it uh, in their way. So it was slightly clutters you can see, but still it is yeah. uh, done by a drone shooting and professional professional shooting. Very good. And in this uh, diagram, in this diagram you can see the gantry system. Yeah. See this gantry system. This is the gantry. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And yeah. this is a, a jib crane. Yeah. It loads and unloads from a container, uh, and also from a for maintenance, it can remove the pump from container outside. As well excellent. As can, um, so these all all uh, innovations. It was not found on Google or anywhere, net. But later, one Australian company has now ventured into it. It's yeah. okay. I like Australians. Yeah. Uh, one last question. 
Yeah. Uh, you talked about synchronization of uh, yes, the yes. drive. Yes, yes. Uh, what, I mean, exactly what is the yeah. synchronization of drive mean? Yeah. And what, what is it required for? Yeah. What happened was actually, uh, when we were uh, actually, uh, when we were supplied this, uh, selected these pumps and supplied these things, it was to suffice, it was to, just for a sufficient to cater the maximum flow. That was a 1200 meter cube per hour, right? For two inches, it was very much less. I think one or two pumps are sufficient. For one pump was also sufficient. For um, uh, six inch meters, two or three pumps are required, are sufficient. Huh. And for uh, 14 inch and uh, 10 inch and 12 inch, they hmm. were uh, uh, requirement was for 1200, 1200 meter cube. So hmm. accordingly, we did that. And of course, VFD was uh, actually decided we have to give and all that. But nobody was sure. Means I, Sorry to say, in our fraternity, there, there might be many people working in this area. I will definitely share my knowledge as well as their knowledge. I would like to hear from them. But actually, we uh, asked EBV, VFD people, to guide us how to do this. Then we asked KSB people also in the detail of how we will get the um, desired uh, pressure versus uh, flow rate. Uh, variable means uh, as our as our wish, how we will get it. But nobody actually could help us. Help help us. Then we decided to throttle wall wall. Uh, Mr. Bedarkar, I think you were late, but I told I I actually offline, Mr. Makan, because yeah. I think uh, this, <laughs> this no, will no, no, to a lot of people uh, over. We are we are going no, to go over the time no, and we'll no, see. No, 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 so no, no, thank no, you so much. No, no issue, no issue. What I mean to say is that. The, uh, the throttle was out of question. So here we. I no, why was the throttle out of question? Throttle will uh, reduce the flow rate and it will create a, create a back pressure uh, and it will not. This Coriolis mass flow, as you know, Coriolis mass flow requires one bar, one bar 10 mLc. So, like no? ah, no pair ke mein ek pair. Ah. so, so, uh, so the flow control in the line in line was not actually uh, effective for to get the flow versus pressure characteristics. The Coriolis mass flow, if there are two Coriolis mass flow meters, one is a master and second is a unit under test. For example, here unit under test fits. So if there is also Coriolis, then that is out of question. It will not work at all because the pumps were of 30, 25 mlc. So uh, throttle was out of question. Then uh, that uh, ENDS told us to give the bypass. That is a conventional method in which you bypass the quantity. No, it doesn't work properly. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't. Uh, Ms. Bagan, please, uh, we'll take this yeah. discussion offline yeah. because I yeah. have a, a, a very yeah. Yeah. A number of yeah. questions. Yeah. yeah. And Pilas won't permit us any more time. So yeah. uh, let us uh, meet some other time yes. and take this. Welcome. Thank uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bedarkar, for uh, starting the QA. It's yeah. really Later. relevant and good questions, but I'm sorry you joined late. No issues. We'll share the presentation and you can interact with Makaran. Yeah. Uh, any more questions, please raise. Uh, please identify yourself and uh, fire your question. Myself, Mahesh Datar from Panvel. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Actually, Good morning. I also like, joined late. But uh, we are done the same type of activity from Emerson right now. Actually, before that, we are searching for such type of vendor. Mm -hmm. And uh, whether you are going to, uh, I think you are given services for Reliance also, no? Yes, Jamnagar refinery, this particular unit is. Okay, and we are having YouTube uh, mass promoters, Emerson. That, that is possible in your this uh, this kid or what? YouTube means uh, Coriolis, no? Coriolis, no? Coriolis, yeah, yeah. Uh, Coriolis, already. I got a Jamnagar refinery photographs in which how, we ha how they handled with the same material handling system, how they handled mm -hmm. those uh, big use YouTubes of Coriolis. Mm -hmm. Uh, at site, and they used to call me during lunch time because okay. uh, from morning till uh, that lunch time period, they used to fight, and then uh, I used to guide them. They were, those were the early days of uh, okay. this kind, this venture actually. Okay, and so, whether you are doing uh, whether you are doing tank for tanker loading flow meters, we are also having, but we are not able to calibrate uh, till date. So means that is different type actually. But uh, whether you are able to calibrate that that also. Tank, eh? tank, tanker loading, know. tanker loading meters are there. Tanker loading meters must be uh, vertex or what? 
No, no, they are they are positive displacement meter. Ah, so 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 already. They are PD meters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, either root. Uh, I got it. I got oval it. meters or. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Actually, during this setup, okay, this particular setup, uh, we had to buy. We had to take a rent on the rent uh, DG set, DG van, and we conducted all the trials with all sorts of meters, means uh, vortex, PD. then coriolis of course i mac flow everything was uh, tested on this in front of us before it it leaves it left for uh, jamnagar and uh, what is our your meter standard meter where you are calibrating it is actually first time it was calibrated in the goimotur that famous uh, lab fcr ha uh, uh, fcr okay. first certificate i saw of that fcr Okay. And this pressure transmitter and uh, temperature transmitter was from uh, Intel. Those were from Intel because those were simple. But these are the pressure transmitters. Those are also okay. quite required. And that yeah. flow computer and those particular uh, cloud-based software were also very innovative and very very high-tech okay. thing. Because uh, so can it, actually actually I am thinking to do this same type of activity. We are having type, such type of lineup also in our tank farm. Basically, I am working in tank farm. Uh -huh. So whether it is possible in online means actually I am is I am looking for two meters in series. Stand your standard meter and our under test meter. Yes. I want to install in one line and accordingly I want to actually with our I mean same product basically. Yeah. So such kind of facility can you provide? Yes, this is the same thing, same facility. This is series only. That is, I understand, but uh -huh. we have to remove the meter and connect to your this thing, no, in your setup. Instead of uh -huh. that, uh -huh. standard meter can be set in our setup, and uh -huh. that can be done also. That is possible. We will discuss actually. Uh, yeah, your yeah. number, your number. No, no, I am not getting it actually. Your number yeah, yeah. is given by Mr. Vilas, and then we will talk. Okay, fine, fine. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I could not. Yeah. I will share his number. I will share yeah, his yeah, number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Reliance, no, he's a reliance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other common question for common interest? Please shoot out your questions. But very interesting dialogues. I must appreciate uh, for uh, Mr. Dasar as well as. Let me see, well as, yeah. well as see yeah. these side glasses. They have been designed differently. They are not conventional side glasses. Side glasses. Hello. Ah, uh, I am Shanware from uh, BRC Mumbai. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Hello, we are Shanware. Yeah, yeah. I have one question, Miss. I have a doubt whether uh, you said uh, you have tuned the flows uh, with the help of drive control. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Instead of that, if you try the methodology of controlling pressure and flow control by using mm -hmm. some PID control. Mm -hmm. And then having one bypass line for the. Ah, yeah. Uh, we are similar locality, sir. Uh, it is done okay. that way only. It is done that way yeah. only. Control, PID okay. control. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Wave, 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 wave has got PID function. Only okay. I said that instead of using bypass wall. Can you see your bypass wall? Just have one. Ah, so I, I actually provided, had gave the provision of bypass wall, but it yeah. was not under use at all because this VFD and PID were sufficient to get my results. That okay. was the thing I was describing. Okay. 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 Just I had a doubt. I just asked. It. No, no, no. It is. It is a VFD. The VFD are with PID control, and they okay. have been working in that fashion only. Okay. Actually, your yeah. link was provided to me by Makran Dixit. Yeah, yeah. Makran Dixit yeah. called me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so thank you very much for allowing yeah. me to participate. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a nice Welcome. thing actually. Yeah, yeah. You can become a tech forum member, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Definitely. Oh, so let's have for the question, the next question. You can see these six pumps, each of forty yeah. HP. Each 40 of forty. Uh, each of forty HP, two forty HP total. Oh, great. Four zero, four zero HP. And uh, these are each individual pump is of two hundred meter cube per. Hour. Actually, they are more than that. They can go up to three hundred meter cube also. Slightly variation is there. Uh, but they can do that, and uh, MLC 35 MLC the capacity one. Mr. Swapni Lingle has a questions. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Lingle, you can introduce yourself and ask the questions, please. He has uh, typed his question in a chat box. 
I think Mr. Ingle, please better you ask because everyone will understand your questions and then Makaran can answer. Mr. Ingle, are you? Uh, hello, my name is Swapnil Ingle. Uh, I am a uh, mechanical engineer. Uh -huh. I was wondering about the accuracy or uncertainty of the flow meter reading. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, it has been calculated by that flow computer. That was I was about to tell. That software has got all the kind of uncertainty, accuracy, repeatability, statistical analysis, and all that. It is actually a kind of semi-automatic thing. Once you put it on the uh, under calibration test, then it automatically captures the data and it ca captures and uh, makes a Excel sheet or whatever or chart form and ready for you to accept it or reject it. And the accuracy and all that, uh, everything has been in data sheet. Everything has been given for the master, which is a Coriolis mass flow. Uh, was supposed to be the best uh, in um, flow, flow meter, flow transmitters. So that accuracy is actually the accuracy of entire scale. So it has been taken care by a particular flow computer. It's ABB make. ABB has made that. That is also one good cha challenge of developing that uh, flow computer very challenging task actually these are the return valves return line valves which are very much required for the flow stability back pressure is uh, is required to get the steady flow thank you Sapnil ji for uh, wonderful questions and also explanation on the topic. <laughs> yeah, the, let's go for the next question. It's quite interactive. So let us have more and more questions. Because this was a Herculean task for Makaran yeah, yes, to design yes. this kind of a vehicle. It's a monster. Yeah, it's a monster, yes. I 1200 meter cube multiplied by 4.45 meter per second velocity. Oh, great. Uh, any more questions? Otherwise, uh, we can close the tech talk. How much years uh, you are, you are, means uh, you have completed this activity? How much time has come? Recently, Actually, or? because, no, no, it was, in, it was in pandemic lockdown. Because of that, we had to, means you are talking about this project late time, no? Yeah, yeah, when you are started. Yeah. This, uh, this actually, project. actually, I, started the design itself in month of March. Then we started in something like August or September. And then we, we, I, we faced a lot of problems, all sorts of problems of uh, supply chain, of transports and everything, workers, means labor and all that. And uh, in fact of that, we could deliver on December, mid-December. And it, it was went there and then there was a huge problem in Jamnagar. Then, Covid was uh, spreading in uh, refinery area, so then it was uh, um, commissioned and all. We faced a lot of problems, tremendous problems. Hello, hello, hello. Huh? Yeah. Can the system be used for uh, checking the pressures of the skyscrapers, something huh? like the building? Uh huh. Vijay, 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 Bambu, please uh, mute your mic. Yeah, so go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, repeat because somebody switched on the mic and there was some noise in the background. Please go ahead. I think Mr. Vijay was asking the question who has a itself himself nice that background. Okay, okay. Hello. Yeah. Hmm. This system can be used to check the pressures of the system of the skyscraper buildings. So if there is any problem of line pressure ah. on the different ah. floors, you ah. can check it. Pressure on what? The ah. line pressures. Line pressures. Skyscraper of different uh, levels. Ah. I was looking, you are designed it for a uh, flow. flow. I was thinking whether it can be used for the uh, construction business and kind of a thing. 
no the, for that uh, we will have to discuss different this, this, this particular thing was for flow transmitters what you are talking is about something different but we can discuss and then we will we'll have the talk on this topic yeah so i think get connected i can yeah. Yeah, share yeah. both the numbers yeah. uh, makran's number those who are interested yes. uh, i think makran you can type in the chat box so they can all copy yeah. your mobile number yeah yes to chat box yeah yeah his number is i think makran has typed in the chat box okay any further question because we are about to uh, come to an end in one o'clock normally we stop but in case if there is interesting interactions we continue for that so i think it was a quite interesting uh, interactions today and a uh, lot of queries have been raised by experts i think i must appreciate mr datar as well as mr bedarkar and of course gentlemen from brc mm. so i think it was quite relevant uh, uh, people who participated today bedarkar is a pune based are well known personality yes, yes, yes. so and sure the measurements and it's really nice uh, Uh, to have all of you here those who are really interested in uh, such kind of measurements so friends i think is there uh, the, i will give you the last question any last question i think uh, uh, there are no questions then i think we can call it a day i must thank you all for uh,